Ephesians 6 10 says be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind be strong where how do you get this strength Ephesians 3 15 of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named next verse that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit so where is the power of his might that is what we saw in Ephesians 1 19 and Ephesians 3 20 the power of his might which was wrought in Christ according to the power that worked in you that's the power of his might the power of god's might is the power that is at work in you so when he said be strong in the lord and in the power of his might the power of his might is already inside you that is say, instead of relying on things around rely on what is inside you there's power locked up inside you that is unleashed via the vehicle of prayer how many of you have discovered that Christians who don't know the things you know but pray all the time from time to time they have an accidental discharge of answers how many of you have seen that they don't know what you know but they are always praying they pray 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 it may take them a while but eventually you'll be seeing result you know why prayer is the vehicle that produces answer so when they start praying like that they are doing trial and error trial and error in the midst of their trial and error in the prayer they press a right button bam answer comes out then they continue they don't stop they keep praying then you that is full of knowledge that don't pray everything is standing you're full of knowledge you know what to be done but you have not empowered the process in prayer so nothing is working then the other man is full of ignorance he doesn't even pray the right words he doesn't know the bible but he's always praying they clap in their hands at least in the course of a whole day they will press three right buttons but you you have epignosis precise accurate exact definite knowledge you know what to do so why don't you do what you know to do you just pray so you make power available to accomplish a tax when you pray power is made available to accomplish a tax so when we say a prayerless christian is a powerless christian what we mean is that a prayerless christian fails to make power available two things paul opens our understanding to in ephesians number one he opens our attention to the authority available to the believer exousia authority authority is made available to you a privilege and a right exousia now when you are exercising authority you give out instructions then the second thing paul is bringing our attention here in ephesians chapter one and chapter three is actual strength that apart from authority you have actual strength dynamis power he said we are exercising authority because we have actual power there's actual power at work in us there is a walking in ephesians chapter 1 verse 19 and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us what who believe according to the working of his mighty power so apart from the authority which is the issuing of instructions there is power inside you that backs the authority there's actual power in the believer that power is energy hooper balloon dunamis look at it and what is the exceeding hooper balloon greatness of his dunamis power to us what who believe according to the energy the walking the walking in ephesians 3 20 he repeats it now to him that is able to do hooper balloon exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the dunamis power that energy work it in us the same thing he said in chapter 1 verse 19 he repeated in chapter 3 verse 20 as a source of the answer to the prayer of 119 i don't know if you saw that look at it verse 18 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding pupa balloon greatness of his dunamis power to us what who believe according to the energy the working of his mighty power is still prayer which he wrote in christ all right now when he's talking about the answer to that prayer in chapter 3 verse 20 now to him that is able to do hooper balloon 
abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the dunamis that energy in us that the answer to the prayer in 119 which is in 320 both the prayer and the answer is all inside you that's what paul is emphasizing that the answer don't come from anywhere it comes from within you say i hear so that means power will not work until you pray so that's why the centurion said to jesus you don't need to come to my house stand where you are and speak the word if you speak i am a man under authority i say to one go he goes i say to one come he comes healing is under your authority if you say healing go healing will go to where my child is that man understood authority that's why jesus said this man understands faith see for the believer in the new testament you are not asked to have faith you are asked to know elijah didn't have much elijah didn't know much but he prayed Abi, he didn't know much but he prayed and stopped rain how many of you have stopped rain rain just rain here elijah before he got born again stopped rain when elijah stopped rain was he born again then you, you are born again and rain scatter your program hey yeah 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 look at the rain and do shh elias was a man of like passion but he prayed he prayed earnestly that it may not rain and this man this man held rain for three and a half years say he altered the course of nature for three and a half years yet he was not born again how much more you that has the hooper balloon dunamis and a jewel of god all combined inside you god punish the devil a group of men in this house are about to shake this planet somebody shout there's exceeding great power resident in me angels do not have power on their own because some of you when you pray you start calling angels thank you father oh yeah angels angels go 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 get it. angels do not have power on their own psalm 103 verse 20 gives us an insight from the prophetic psalm bless the lord these angels that excel in strength that do his commandments hearkening unto the voice of his word when you give voice to the word which is prayer you unleash power that energizes angels to be part of your prayer answer now listen carefully look at me everybody not all angels have wings not all angels there are angels that don't have wing and they move without wings and they fly without wings depending on the power your prayer is making available there are those that will fly with wings and there are those that don't have wings they will walk in fact there's a way you will pray angels will appear human beings they will walk like this and carry something and give you it is the amount of power you generate that will determine the kind of bodies that go on duty for you i don't know if i'm talking to somebody it's not every angel that flies there are angels that can appear in an office as human beings and physically carry somebody like this move him out of the office and bring somebody to the seat for your sake now the working of those angels is generated from you so when the prayer you're producing is much it engages high-ranking angelic activity now as you are praying the angels are working your prayer generates power they go to work when you are not praying all your angels are dormant they're just going around like area boys when you tell them carry it they will do like this their hand will not move they say no you're going away no energy say quickly quickly get me that car get me that car angel will do like this. no fuel then you stop power starts generated an angel will walk quickly right in there grab this one and set him aside to be charged you know battery charging to be charged this angel will move quickly into action you see results coming because you have generated power when you are not praying angels will just be no energy 
I'm building these graphic images in your mind so that when you start praying, you know what kind of activity is going on. Honey, didn't the angel tell Daniel, Daniel 10 12, then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard and i am come because i like you no 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 you look well now i am come because i pity you you have been here for too long what are the angels coming for for thy words it is your word that has brought me the energy i'm using to walk is generated by your words i am come for your words if you are not speaking words i won't come when you pray what do you do say when you pray say I see some of you always say, lift up your hands and begin to pray. They'll just be like, in their head, they're meditating the prayer. That's not prayer. That's meditation. You have to open your mouth. You have to speak. Some of us are so lazy that we cannot even have spiritual victory. Because victory is not for lazy Christians. Prayer, you don't need much. You just, your mind is resting. How many of you know when you're speaking in tongues, your mind is resting? Your mind is not engaged because your understanding is unfruitful. What is happening? You're not speaking. Your mind is resting. Then after a while, you now engage your mind trying to seek an understanding of what you just spoke. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take, it's just in discipline and a lack of understanding that prayer is the medium of executing authority on the earth. Jesus said, I will speak to the Father and he will send me a legion of angels. Prayer happens with the power we have on earth. That's number one. Number two, prayer is not heaven invading the earth. It's actually earth invading heaven. Thirdly, power is at work in us. And we discharge that power with words. Our words give direction to God's power. Our words, our words, our words. They give direction to God's power. It is not let your will be done. No. If you start praying, let your will be done, you will hang your prayer life. You are, it will just hang. Because there's nothing like let your will be done you are not jesus dying on the cross he already did the will of god he fulfilled the scriptures in your life so it's not let your will be done do something new in my life do something he has done everything he needs to do stop asking him to do again if any man be in christ that is the only new thing that god has done there's no other new thing do something new in my life something he has done it making you a new creation is the only new thing that god has ever done something that makes me my help my help there is something that makes me so something is making you and you don't know what it is and that thing is making you come when did you go out i live in you i walk in you words control power did you hear that yes, sir. words control power hey the woman with the issue of blood was standing and she kept saying the greek says she kept saying in fact the greek gives us an idea that we don't know for how many weeks or months she kept saying it but she was saying it for quite a while jesus was on his way to jairus house with power he was carrying the power to go and heal jairus daughter and jairus was with him with the crowd the woman sat at the back and she said jairus was not saying but the woman was saying the power was on jesus for jairus the woman was saying jairus was not saying words control power when she said she walked where jesus is based on what she said she touched when she touched him her words redirected the power in jesus to her she got healed jesus stopped and said somebody has collected the power virtue has left me that is she spoke and redirected the power because the word is in your mouth and in your heart that is the word of it when you begin to speak you begin to redirect power